staying in America for today's football premium seats, this time at Geodis Park, home of Nashville SC. Today's match was a 7.30pm kickoff, and before making our way into the stadium, the fans like to do something a bit different in America. Very common before sports events in America, fans meet up for a tailgate. A good place to catch up with other fans, have a drink and some food, and play some games. And if you're lucky, maybe meet Tempo the Coyote. Really inviting fans, and they even let me stay for a drink before making our way to the stadium a couple of hours before kickoff. Really nice weather today, and a scenic route as you make your way towards the stadium. A few steps to climb on the approach to the very modern stadium, and it's probably worth checking out the stadium map. Went on a quick wander around the outside of the stadium and spotted this. Signed up to Hyundai to receive a Nashville SC t-shirt. Passed a couple more of the approaches and to the front of the stadium, where there was a fair bit going on, including FIFA stations, as well as some relaxed seating areas with the chance to grab a pre-match drink and some live music. After some practice at the tailgate, I thought I'd have a go at some cornhole. No sweat when it comes to cornhole. Then there was a football game. Feeling very confident from the cornhole, I took my shot. Need some practice. At 6pm, the premium ticket lounges opened, so there was a short walk around the outside of the stadium. And at this point, it is a good idea to ask a member of staff or check your e-ticket to make sure you're going in the right direction. Today, we were inside Premier Club. First up, through the main entrance, then through security. And on the other side, and a nice touch, especially with the hot weather, a can cooler for every guest. Then got the e-ticket at the ready, which was scanned. Then wristband on. Before heading into Premier Club and the large pitch-facing lounge. A few cool features inside the lounge. First up, an open bar, and a bit more on that later on as well as different seating areas, including bar seating and some sofas. Also inside the lounge, multiple food stations from salad through to charcuterie. First up, we went for a salad. Lots of food to try, so salad was the first of a few portions. We then grabbed our bowl and made our way to a pitch facing table. Then another nice touch, there are cold drinks fridges and it's a case of helping yourself to these as well. For the second course, we grabbed a plate and went for some pizza. A couple of good vegan options as well, including a sweet and sour plant-based dish. Tucked into the salad, then it was time for the meal of the match. And the smells coming from these dishes were amazing, so we grabbed the plate, then loaded it up with garlic mashed potatoes, and when in Nashville, barbecue ribs. And there were a few different ones to try. Then topped off our plate with some green beans. Then back to the table again to tuck in and gotta say, these were amazing. Quiet inside the stadium now, but it did get busy later on. Then another nice touch. Sweet jars are available inside the lounge, mainly for the kids, but that didn't stop us. It was a hot evening, so made use of the bottled water and obviously grabbed a few drinks from the open bar over to the relaxed seating areas to have a chat with some of the home fans before making our way back up to the food stations for an apple strudel. This was pretty good, but the pick of the courses was the brownies and the cookies, specifically the cookies. Before making our way into the stand for the start of the match, there was a pop-up shop inside with replica jerseys all the way through to this guy who we met outside. 
And just when you thought we were finished with the food, we grabbed a cup and helped ourselves to some popcorn. Popcorn in hand, it was then over to one of the drinks fridges to make use of our new can cooler. Throughout the evening, there was access between the lounge and the stand, so long as we were wearing our wristbands. So with about 10 minutes to go until the start of the match, it was into the stand and into section C05. Then down a few steps, and along to an allocated padded seat with a cup holder. Took our seats and got ready for the start of the match with a snack and the t-shirt from earlier. And make sure you get to your seats early enough to watch the pre-match shows. Including lots of fireworks and light displays And right before kickoff, all stand for the American national anthem. A great noise coming from the fans behind the goal during the game. Then at half time, back into the lounge for yes, more food, this time one of the hot dogs. And in our opinion, it's not complete without some mustard and some ketchup. Then tucked in with a view of the pitch for the second half. Tickets to Premier Club are from $350 plus fees and tax. A big thanks to Nashville SC for inviting us to try a premium seats package. And finally, a couple of things worth sticking around for after the match. The chance to grab a photo and an autograph from the players on the side of the pitch. And Nashville won 3-1 against St. Louis, so we made our way around the outside of the stadium to watch the fans behind the goal celebrating. Cracking effort from the home fans and definitely some of the most friendly that we've met on our travels. And the singing and celebrations continued all the way up until the stadium closed. Finally, a question for you guys. Where should we go for the next padded seat?